multiple programmable safety areas can be added to each specific program file. To create safety areas, within the text editor, select Setup, and from the dropdown, select Safety Areas. Currently in this program, there's two safety areas created, a traverse area to allow the robot to traverse the Z-beam, and a conveyor area to allow the robot to drop the part only on the conveyor area. To add a new safety area to this existing program, select New. And from within this dropdown, you can name the safety area being added. In this instance, we'll add a mold area. Then we must choose whether this area is an exclusionary area or an inclusive area. If left checked, it will be exclusionary, which means that the area is being created to disallow the robot from entering the specific coordinates. Inclusive will be when the exclusionary is unchecked, the safety area becomes inclusive, which means that we are creating an area the robot is able to work within and not allowed to exit. The previous two areas, the traverse and conveyor area, were made inclusive. So we'll make the mold area inclusive, essentially allowing three locations the robot can work within. Traverse, conveyor area, and mold area. All other areas of the work cell will be disallowed. When creating inclusive areas, you must be able to create a bridge to allow the robot to exit one area, for example, to exit the traverse area and enter the mold area. In the traverse setting, the x-axis is only allowed to travel between 0 and 100 millimeters. So in this instance, to protect the stationary side, the x-axis must be at 75 millimeters minimum. So we select the white box on the from side, and we can either select the edit key and move the robot to the position we want it to enter the mold area, or we can select numeric input and tap the white box and numerically input the location from the keypad. Now the two position in the X is the maximum distance that X can travel to the mold open movable side. In this instance, the maximum value will be inputted numerically as 225. The Y axis must allow the robot to be able to enter the mold from a zero position above mold and a maximum depth that it can travel to. So we'll leave the from position as zero and make the to position the maximum travel depth within the mold. And input that into the Y axis. The Z axis is going to protect the tie bars in the mold and needs a position from the left and right tie bars. So we'll move using the sliders, the robot z-axis from its two position, from position, to the two position to protect the right side tie bar. The A axes and the Z ax and the C axes should not be allowed to rotate while in the mold. Those positions, being pneumatic axes, will be inputted to stay at the zero position on both the to and from. So in the mold area, 
the X is allowed to enter the mold anywhere between 75 and 225 millimeter. The Y can enter from 0 to 400, and the Z is limited in its traverse uh, movements between 1500 and 1740 while in the mold. The A and the C axes are not allowed to rotate at all. This is an inclusive area because we uncheck the exclusionary, meaning that the robot can work within these coordinates and not exit out. The icons below the activate on would allow a user to select that the safety area is active only when a position is reached on a specific axis, a mold signal is used, a peripheral input is turned on. These can be active when these are off or whether they are on. We can also set an output to determine when we are outside or inside by selecting the white box and selecting a peripheral output that is available to send either an audible or visible alarm. Or you can uncheck and not use either where the safety area will be active in all modes except reference missing. Once the safety area is created, select the OK tab. And now we can view the safety areas that we have. The lighter shade of green here is the maximum stroke area of all axes. The colored areas are the permissible areas to allow the robot to travel within. Currently, we have the traverse area, the mold area, and the conveyor area. These are the only areas now that the robot will be allowed to travel within. The rest of the work cell is prohibited from entrance by the robot. Safety areas become active when the robot program is transferred to the CPU and remain active in all modes except reference missing.